We do indeed, and there it is, sitting on top of the termite mound. I promised I'd stop for a serval. And I did. And speaking of knowledge broadening, if not deepening, this is the third time I've seen this particular serval, and it's beautifully, beautifully chilled, and it's hunting. Ah, Jared in final control. Now, Jared, this morning at quarter to five, I got up to start getting everything ready this morning, and um, Jared sent me a message, and I was wondering why it was that he was awake, because I needed to ask him for a favor. Long story short, he told us a story about three servals fighting outside our kitchen. Now, Jared, in final control, would like to know, do ever do servals ever come into our camp? Well, Jared, we only have your word for it, essentially. None of us have ever seen them. It is only Jared's word that there were three servals fighting outside the kitchen outside Jared's tent. I'm inclined to believe him, though. Jared, I think you're telling the truth. <laughs> now, Kirsty, Kirsty, did you say that was you that thinks that? Oh. Brent, Brent thinks that it was the Arctic water that it made Jared believe that it was a serval. Poor, poor old Jared, of course, had an unfortunate incident as he was returning to us um, from coming from Alaska, where his plane had to make an emergency water landing and he had to swim to shore. Whilst I imagine that was utterly terrifying, and we're all very glad that Jared made it back to us safely on one piece in the Masai Mara, I'm not sure it addled his brain. The serval's seen something. It really has. It's so intently focused. I'm actually going to... Oh, no, hold on, I'm not, because it's poised to jump. Is it going to... Yeah! Did it get it? Yes, it did, it did, it got it! It got it, it's a little vole or something. It's a little rodent. Ah, oh, it caught it! Incredible! Is that our first live serval kill? Epic! How cool is that? And there it goes, stalking off with that weirdly shaped tail. I always find serval tails so strange. Let's go a bit closer now that it's got its prey. I just want to make sure that it is relaxed with us. It always has been in the times that I've seen it, but let's get us a little closer. Nice, Manu! Lion fight and a serval kill. Can you come out on drive with me more often? Oh, you probably need my help to find it. There we go. There you go. There's our serval, having caught itself a rodent. Hey, that was, that was really very cool. That was the first time I've ever seen that. Aren't they beautiful cats? About sort of double the size of your average house cat in terms of height. Your average house cat, not one of those giant things. And really kind of like a cheetah in miniature. They are known for their spectacular leaps up into the air. They're expert bird hunters. And apparently rodent hunters as well. Pickle Green, you say serval one, lion zero. Yes, well, the, the serval didn't mess about for too long, did she? I think it's a she. <clears throat> it jumped right on in there, whereas our lioness has dilly-daddled. Dilly-dallied? Dilly-dallied? Dilly, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry. Tired. Um, the lioness has dilly-dallied for far too long, and as a result lost their opportunity thanks to brawling males, although one can hardly blame them for that. I didn't predict it. I certainly can't imagine they did. Um, I'm just thinking, maybe if we go just a little bit up the slope, we'll actually be able to see it while it feeds. This is such an amazing opportunity. For our new viewers, that is a first. That is really seriously a first. Hold on, everybody. Okay, that should help. That should help. Where'd it go? That's, um... There it is. There it is. 
Okay, so it hasn't helped that much, but it was definitely worth it. So, I promised I'd stop for a serval, and boy am I glad I did, even if it means that we get utterly soaked on our way home, which I don't think we will. But even if we do, it will have been worth it, just for that one spectacular moment. The leap of the serval, the fact that it found its prey, showing just how acute, well, how wonderfully it uses its ears... Mr. P in Canada, welcome as always. Mr. P, nope. It is not enough to feed the serval, and it probably will hunt several times during the night. I keep saying that it's a she. I said the same thing when VM and I were with it the other day. I haven't actually had a chance to check, so maybe maybe we'll get lucky in the last few minutes, seconds, before drive, and we'll have a chance to see. Or maybe you had a chance to see if you got any screenshots. I was distracted by the fact that it had caught something. Alert, looking around, listening always, and back to feeding. They are stunning creatures. Ah, oh, that is so exciting. So, so exciting. Manu, don't worry about taking the camera off it, but I'm just going to try... No, gravity is not on my side. I was going to try and roll back to get rid of that grass. But I think I've done enough fiddling for tonight. Well, I think a lot of you got to share your first serval kill with me, because it was my first one as well. I've seen many serval. I've seen them leap up and try and catch birds, but I've never seen them successfully kill. Shamel, you say you've not seen a serval hunt that clearly before? No, me neither. That was really the, the most spectacular serval hunt I've ever had. What a really, really special way to end off the drive. CJ, you never used to say the word epic until you started watching Safari Live. Well, CJ, that's because it's the most epic thing in the world ever. But then I'm biased, aren't I? Right, on that profound note, it is a time for us to say goodnight and goodbye to all. A big thank you to Manu for his wonderful camera work. Thank you to Kirsty and to Jerry in Final Control, who are even more sleep-deprived than I am. Most importantly, oh, and Megan across on...